Victoria, the capital city. It's often promoted as a little bit of old England and sometimes referred to as more British than the British. There's certainly a lot on the surface to support that statement, but in fact, Victoria has always been a multicultural melting pot. Take Victoria's Jewish community, for example. Jewish merchants from San Francisco arrived in 1858 during the Fraser River Gold Rush. Using Victoria as a base, they opened stores throughout the mainland in such towns as New Westminster, Hope, Lytton, Lillooet, and Barkerville. Among BC's best-known entrepreneurs were the Oppenheimer brothers. The Oppenheimers created a link between Victoria and the province's mining regions by selling supplies and transporting gold. Later, with the coming of the railway, they moved to Vancouver, where David Oppenheimer became the city's second mayor in 1888. His name is remembered in Vancouver's Oppenheimer Park. The Victoria Hebrew Benevolent Society, founded in 1859, was instrumental in creating the Jewish cemetery here on Fernwood Road. It's the oldest continuously operating cemetery in British Columbia. The society also built the Temple Emmanuel, British Columbia's first synagogue consecrated in a public ceremony in 1863. This handsome brick building is the oldest synagogue still in use in Canada and has been designated a National Historic Site. London-born Henry Nathan Jr., who ran a wholesale business in Victoria, was the first Jewish person elected to the provincial legislature and became Canada's first Jewish member of parliament. In 1972, Dave Barrett became the first Jewish premier in Canadian history. BC's Jewish community has played an important role in shaping our province and our capital, part of our capital's proud history of connecting people from all walks of life.